Hey guys, Karma Sculpting back again once again, and today we're making a very derpy looking pepper lizard. It's your boy Fue Coco. First things first, I started off by rolling out his pepper shaped body, and then I carved out his gaping maw. Though I did have to give him his lips back shortly after. Then I shoved a chunk of clay in his mouth to act as his tongue. Now this next shape took a few tries. I could not figure out how to get it right, but I eventually came out with this duckbill type of shape for his crocodilian upper lip. Now if you're trying to follow along, just remember to try to blend everything in as seamless as you can. I know some people out there like to imitate what they see on screen, so just pause and rewind if you need to. For his face, I just flattened out a thin piece of clay, threw it over his head, and carved out the exact shape I needed from there. Then blended the bottom of that to his upper lip. Next up, I carved him out a couple of eyes. Simple oval shapes will do here. And then his triangle shaped nostrils to go along with him. Now how about we give our little buddy some chompers? Now, I'm no dentist, but I think I did a fair enough job here. Time for some chunky Fue Coco legs. One thing we can tell from this body alone this little guy is not built for speed. The arms are up next, and they are just two little flappers with three little claws on the end. Very little detail. Just take your time to get the claws how you want them. Personally, I positioned him in a way to where he looks like he's looking at food, the same way I do. And the last tiny details before we throw this little guy in the oven were his toes and his little hair pieces. What are these? Is it fire coming out of the top of the head meant to look like a stem? I have no idea. As usual, thanks to its lighter colors, we're going to give this guy a little white base coat before we start putting any more color onto him. A good portion of this little Fue Coco here is just red. Red hot chili pepper red. And remember that sometimes it takes more than one coat. More expensive paints can alleviate this issue, but I know we can't all afford that. I used a darker, more blood red for the inside of his mouth. And then a bone white for his face. As well as the under the side of his belly. As a side note, you'll notice splotches every now and then on the rest of his body. Those are all cleaned up off camera. Fill his eyes and his nose holes with black. And use the bone white again for his eyeballs.
poor black for his toes. decided to paint on the little yellow rectangles, one on his belly and two on his back. Lastly was his fire stem, which I started with yellow. Added a little hint of orange. the sides and with all that young Zuko finally became the fire lord he always dreamed of wait wrong story but we're on free Coco jokes aside how did he turn out let me know down below would you this little guy is definitely my number two pick if I ever decided to do a second playthrough of Scarlet and Violet when they come out or maybe if the breeding system is early enough in the game, I can have a friend trade one to me and I'll use it in the first playthrough as well. Though, if that's the case, I'll wind up using all three. Who am I kidding? If you made it this far into the video and enjoyed it, please slap that like button for me. It really helps out. And if you have any words of wisdom to help me improve, drop a comment. I'm always open for any type of criticism to improve my craft. And until next time, Karma and Fue Coco, out!